Right, we're in the Meander River. It's a pretty calm morning. Thunderstorms and uh, 20 to 40 mils of rain is on, is on its way, so I want to get a bit of a session in before it hits. Um, I've already had a hit and a miss here, and a couple of follows, but the they're a bit moody and there's a lot of green cotton algae in the bottom of this river as you can see it's, uh, it's fouling the lures up. It's the last the river's been since the start of the trout season in August last year and <clears throat> might be a bit when I get up into the fast water. Trout seem a bit finicky. It's hardly any breeze. What breeze is there is just a light uh, east nor'easterly. Anyway we'll fish on and see how we go. I'm using a Stonefly bug spinner at the moment. Uh, I fished my way up through there, it's just full of uh, a green cotton like algae. I um, haven't even seen a fish all that way up through here. Took us some nice water fish. Last time I came up through here, I, I think I got five, I think. And one, of, one of them was my biggest fish of the season so far 900 odd plus um, gram brown. And you, uh, I don't think that'll happen today. Water levels, like I said, down to 60 centimetres, and uh, which is nice, but it's just that, that green cotton-like algae in there that's uh, going to make it pretty tough. Anyway, we'll, we'll push on for a while and uh, see how we go. Oh, there we go. We've got a nice brown on here at the moment. How well he's hooked, I don't know. But he, uh, he's only made about four leaps out from the river. He's a solid fish. I'll uh, just keep his head out of that water and stop him playing in it, taking me for a run and force that water to bring him down. And yeah, took him right off that bubble run, right hard up against that bank there. So uh, they're here, it's a good sign. A lovely fish, so I'll get him in the net and uh, weigh him. I'll be close on this 380 to 400 grammer. There you go, no sooner, no sooner was that in the net, a couple of head shakes in the net there and uh, out popped me lure. So uh, yeah, we're lucky, so I'm just going to weigh him in the net now and then let him go. Well, he went 370 grams, yeah, 370 grams, that beautiful fish. So I'm just going to let him go and he's off. He's in good nick. So we like to see him. Oh, God, I've got to get myself up and down on my hands and knees here. I can't get up. I'm in a lot of hip trouble today. I did want to go and fish the fast water, but I knew I, I wouldn't last in it up there today in those big boulders and slippery rolling rocks. So I thought, the other place I went to, we again, there was already cars there and blokes in the river fishing, so they didn't put an end to that. So I had to do the extra room 30 odd kilometres and come over to the meander. But it was worth it. I've got a Lovely fish, and that's all you need. One fish like that makes your day. Uh, I'll have a couple of follows coming up through there, and just here I just hooked and lost a little one here. Um, yeah, they've just sort of gone off. So, a little ugly gold's off now, and I'm putting a, uh, I've put a uh, white miller little stonefly bug spinner on. It's getting pretty dark. Yeah, the air temp's dropped down, so it's getting cool. Smells damp. Smells like rain coming. As long as the wind holds off for a little bit longer. Well, the white mill has done the job here. The lovely trout here, bigger than the last one. And, uh, I watched it come up and take it. And cast up into where that uh, dead branch was hanging over the river there and just drifted it back through there. And, just watching ease up behind it. I just raised the rod tip, give it a little twitch, and uh, yeah, he smashed it. Beautiful fish. So, uh, I want to get him in. He'd be, uh, he'd be in the 500 gram of this one. He's pretty well hooked in the bottom jaw. So we'll get him in. And, um, he'll be close on 500 this one. And we'll uh, land him, uh, put him in the net here, and Send him money's way. No, he's ready to go. I just weighed him in the net, deducted the 400 grams of this net because I got the big net on, to, carrying the big net today. And yeah, so he only went 440 grams. So I was out again with me guessing. So 
Don't pay to guess with your trout. Always weigh them, weigh them the net and just take the weight of the net off, deduct the weight of the net off and you'll get an accurate reading on your scales, on your digitals. Anyway, we're going to send him on his way. He's a beautiful fish though. Anyway, he's gone. Lovely. The caddis moths are out here. Hovering everywhere again at the moment. It's hundreds and hundreds of them. It's hovering around. There's another reason why I, um, so I give the white miller a bit of a bell too. Is um, there's so many caddis moths starting to show up. A lot of duns and uh, that hovering around too at the moment, some spinners I reckon too. Anyway, we'll uh, see if we can get a f another fish or two before I call it a day. Well, I fished right up through there for those two hookups and lost trout. And uh, now I'm just going to work this bit of water here and uh, a little bit of faster flowing water up further. And, to get out and uh, yeah, maybe call it a day. I might call it a weekend on the way home. Those blokes are gone from up there. I might just have a spend an hour or so up in there as well. There we go. See what happens anyway here. Oh, just had two beautiful browns. Both push them one another side to have a go at me. Little white miller there, them, and neither of them took it. So I've taken it, I'm taking it off. I'm going to I'm going to put a stone fly bug spinner on. See how that'll go. Right, I'm out of the river. I did try a few changes with the lure. Yeah, I puffed. So I climbed up that hill down there. The river's down there. Um, only stay, finished up with the two trout for the day. Hooked and lost right, one, two, four others. Had a few follows. A couple of hit and misses. Yeah, and that was my day. And it's only, uh, 20 past 10, so only, only two hour and 10 minute trip in the river. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to leave my gear on and head back to the Mersey crossover at Wigina and just see if there's, um, if they've gone from there, I might just have a little fish up through there. We'll see how we go. I've got a uh, I oh, know it's probably three quarter kilometre walk back to the car from here yet anyway. So. And the body's a little bit sore. I'll take a couple of painkillers and I'll be right. Oh, I decided not to go to Wigan. There was time to walk back to the car. I thought, uh, time ago, it's, time ago, it's quarter to eleven now. By the time I get over there, it's going to be <clears throat> quarter past eleven. And I get in the river and I thought, no, it'll be too long a day. So I called today. So yeah, they, so there you have it guys, two trout caught for the day, for the morning, for just over two hours, so yeah, it was a good session, so till next time, tight lines.